Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I don't know why my lights are changing colors when it's raw, so it's red. So, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over this past Monday's Monday Night Raw from Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm surprised I remember that. Though this one was uh like filled with a bunch of segments, so we're gonna we're just gonna jump right on into it. How do I do these reviews that I go for all the matches, segments, and whatever? Oh, matches and segments, not backstage. Uh, rank them and then give uh the whole show the rating at the end. So let's start off. Jay and Jimmy who's opening the show, which this is the most serious I've seen Jimmy since August. I'm literally not kidding. Like, it's the most serious I've seen him since August. And that's what I, that's what I needed from this promo. That's what I really was hoping for for this whole promo. For them to face off, but not in a gimmicky way. Because both of these guys, especially Jay, have been on this gimmicky thing. Like, it's they're making it seem like it's a comedic one. This has been a feud brewing since August, and it's supposed to be, like, serious. Because it's, it's, my, it's, it's my opinion. I think it should be serious because it's a bloodline. The bloodline has always had the be the best views are the most serious and emotional ones. This one felt like a comedy gimmicky thing, but I'm so glad they actually, like, felt real with this one. It was a, it was a deep promo. I love that. And then Jay just doing his yeet stuff. But taking it seriously this time. I'm going to get into that with Seth Rollins as well. But yeah, Jay with a kick and whatever. And yeah, there goes the bloodline. Um, I'm going to give that segment a 4.5 out of 5. That was cool. Next up was DIY versus the Creed Brothers. This is one of the most athletic matches I've seen on Monday Night Raw in quite three weeks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think since last week. To be honest with you. The most athletic match I've seen. And Creed Brothers are just powerhouses. Their new theme song sucks. DIY, I've been wanting them to win. And they finally get the WrestleMania moment. Or are finally going to go into WrestleMania. And going to get their WrestleMania moment. DIY is the winner here. That was just freaking crazy. No, it was just great. That was great. DIY gets the win. 4.2 out of 5. Next up was Kenny Carter and Katana Chance versus Candice Lorraine in your heart well. Um, yeah, th this one, they skipped both the entrances, so I had to type this whole, like, half of the match. This match, though, was nothing, so it was a squash, I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 5, but, uh, Katana Chance did get an injury, uh, okay, babe, uh, did get an energy, an energy, what? Did get an injury, and Candice LeRae was just being the ruthless heel that she is now, and just destroying, destroying the knee, getting the win, and Indy Hart was just shocked, or, or... Yeah, shocked by the actions of Candice LeRae. And well, I don't know why you'd be surprised. She's married to a serial kidnapper, but okay, I get and keep him. Okay, but I guess not. Um, where once again they get another win. <laughs> Candace's heel run is getting them wins, so hey, whatever works. Next up was Cody Rose's promo with Paul Heyman at the end of it. So this one last week it got some criticism for being too like Cody crying too much. And yeah, I may have been a victim of that because like one one of the one of the sentences he said like it really got me in like that an emotional state there. But this one, this one he could not be emotional or else the fans would cook him online. And he was like once he came out in the freaking black suit, that's when it was over. He really went off on the rock, went off on the rock's mother, <laughs> and everything. This was just one of the this is the best uh, promo of Cody Rhodes' career. <laughs> And somehow Paul Heyman just makes it a lot better at the end of it. Five out of five. This was the whole moment of the night right here. This is amazing. I loved it. Next up was Ricochet versus Dom. This was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Since they had a more technical match, like, back in, what, October, November? Dominic did win that one. This one was won by Ricochet. Rick I guess we're trying to build something up with Ricochet beating the Judgment Day. I don't know, but he actually beat Dom, which... Um, it's not surprising, but it's kind of shocking, too, because Dom already beat him. I'm surprised this match didn't last long, either. It was only, like, seven minutes. He hit him with one move, and, it, and he lost. Like, he didn't even hit his finisher. And like, well, okay, 3.4 out of 5. It was still a decent match. Next up was the Intercontinental Championship contract signing for WrestleMania. And before this, it was uh, Gable going out to Sammy saying, you can't beat Gunther and all that. A lot of tension rising up between them, and it was pretty It was pretty cool. Um, this, this whole thing, though, it was actually, like, it was pretty much like Sami Zayn's like upbringing. I can tell they're doing something with like a Rocky throwback here, with the storyline. But yeah, like it's a whole it's Sami's arc of building himself up for WrestleMania. I feel like he's gonna lose that though. But I'm still gonna give it a four point five out of five. It was still pretty cool. It was still pretty cool to watch. Pretty cool segment. Next up was Awesome Truth. This is Indus Sheer. This match, uh, <laughs> nothing happened. But like, it started off like pretty weirdly and it ended pretty weirdly too it's like three minutes long 
Uh, they already, uh, Miz hit a finisher on Veer, which I don't know why Veer's that weak, because he was there for at least 20 seconds, and then r pinned him somehow. But, yeah, uh, Jinder Mahal was there on ringside, and yeah, Skull Crusher finale to Veer, then all of a sudden, like, they're, they're on the apron, r gets blasted on a Veer, and that pins him for the win. Well, yeah, that's what, that's really the craziest thing you're ever going to see. Awesome choose did to pick up the win, two out of five, but, like, that was funny. <laughs> he did the John Cena thing before that, too. Next up was Jim McIntyre and Seth Rollins, and I want to revisit the Jay and Jimmy thing because mostly here because Seth has been doing all all this gimmicky stuff too, but he has been in a number of serious feuds recently. But this one, yeah, Jim McIntyre was right. He needs to cut out the the gimmicky part, the comedic part of it, the, like the clown Seth Rollins is basically what he's implying himself as. Also, I want to get that shirt <laughs> that Drew had on, but. Yeah, I mean, Seth did get serious when the time was right. I mean, he is serious still, but, like, it was just another average promo between them. But, yeah, like, Seth r- trying to drop the clown, or the cl- not the clown, the freaking, I forgot, whatever act it was, the, like, the comedy act. That was the highlight of this. Drew McIntyre, whatever. Four out of five for this promo. Okay, New Day versus Alpha Academy was next. This was a pretty fun match. New Day did a quick up the win. 3.7 out of 5. Next up was the main event, the 10th segment of the night. Becky Lynch versus Nia Jax. Becky Lynch did pick up the win here. This was a fun match, honestly. This was kind of a very, very slow moving at times, but it was uh, it was still fun for the time being. The commercials kind of ruined it because they got, they got a ladder and they did a crazy spot uh, during commercial as well. But, yeah, that's what ruined it. But, like, really, this was very slow moving, but at the same time, it was very, like, fast paced as well. It was very, it was very energetic. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a 3.9 out of 5. This was pretty cool. Like, this was pretty good, I guess. Becky Lynch did pick up the win, and Nia Jax has not been pinned on regular TV, uh, in her run, in her recent run. So, yeah, if I had to rank these, Cody Rhodes and Paul Heyman steal the show tonight. Jay and Jimmy go second, WrestleMania contract signing goes third. The f- fourth goes Dale White versus the Creed Brothers. Fifth goes Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins' this promo. Sixth goes Becky Lynch and Nia Jax. Seventh goes New Day and Alpha Academy. Eight goes Ricochet and Dominic. Nine goes Austin Truth versus Indy Sheer. And the worst thing of the night was Katana, uh, Kaden, Can- Kaden Carter and Katana Chance versus Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. Uh, yeah. Um, but this whole show is like another cooked episode of another very episode of Raw that cooked. Sorry. But, yeah, another episode of Raw That Cooked, 4.5 out of 5. This was a pretty fun episode to watch. This was a pretty fun stream. Uh, yeah. Watch my Twitch if you want, because I stream Raw and SmackDown when I try. But uh, that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Goodbye.